Out, everyone. This is Bob Bop. This is the Diamond Society, and welcome back to episode number 130. As you noticed in the intro clip, oh, we have some new walls here. We expanded on what we did in last episode, and that's not the only new thing. There's some beacons behind us as well. Everything's looking pretty great, and in last episode, we added this. We got custom armor stands. Along with that, we got player heads and mob skulls as well. If we go ahead and look at this chest here, I got a wither head from getting one of those beacons, and then a couple of magma cube heads as well. Everything's looking pretty fantastic in today's episode. I want to keep expanding on these walls that we already have here. Let's go ahead and fly out here and take a look at that. Boom, rockets up in the air, and there we go. So we have a start. I don't know if it's going to be permanent. I think we got the layout pretty good, though, but it's a lot of gray. We need to add some color. So those little pink flowers are not going to be enough, and the gray is just making it more and more bland so we got to add some color we got to add some spark to this thing we got to make it look a whole lot prettier like i said i think we're on the right track but you know maybe we got a little bit to go so far and we got a whole lot going on the back as well we started bringing down the walls here so it's no longer just floating out in the middle of nowhere and we got the beacon so that we can travel along so much easier we got the bounce and we got the speed it's fantastic and those beacons Pretty much courtesy of Low Corp CEO. We've had the beacons. We just got another one recently, but he donated a whole bunch of iron so that we could start building the beacon underneath the platform for him. So big thanks there. That helps out a ton. This, however, is going to change. Although we brought that down. Oh, now we're down here. <laughs> Let's get back out there. I don't know what's going on. That's better. We're still going to build a whole lot of greenery around here because this place is not just going to sit in the middle of nowhere. This is going to blend in a whole lot better. So lots of stuff to go on out here. Maybe we'll get to it today. Maybe we won't. I'm not entirely sure, but I've got a whole lot of plans surrounding that. Okay, so a couple of changes have been going on. On the outside here, we bumped up the middle window here, added a big old M for Mott, and then also extended the area out to the side, as you can see. This is a pretty good start, I think. I really do like the shape that this is starting to take over. We're going to have to do something up there, of course, still. I'm thinking maybe just like colored banners or something. That could be pretty neat and dotted a couple of trees. That's just the beginning of the greenery that's going to go in here, however. I've got a lot of plans, and I'm really looking forward to that. I love doing greenery. On the inside, however, trying to add a little bit of color. I've changed these windows from the nasty old gray that they were before to some blue and some white stripes. And I'm still not entirely sold on this. Maybe I could have used some softer colors like light blue and cyan. This is kind of a high contrast right now, so this might still change. And if we come back here... We've got a wolf farm started, just a couple of sheep, and they are the cyan color, which has lately been pretty much my favorite color, which is perfect because it matches the pillagers pretty well here. And I'm going to use this wool for the roof, or at least parts of the roof. And that is going to add a ton of color on the inside, or at least from the outside. Maybe we'll cover it up on the inside so it's not super vibrant. And my shears are broken. So we got a lot of wool to collect because this roof is going to be absolutely massive and i went with wool instead of the concrete because the concrete's going to be a little bit harder to spawn proof with the wool we could just cover it all in carpet no big deal but with the concrete there's a little bit more to it we either got to hide lights or still put carpet on top of it and then have the two different blocks like that this was just a whole lot easier to go about what am i even looking for i need a couple pieces of iron here so there's going to be a lot of color still coming and there's going to be a lot of greenery on the outside I haven't done anything with this area yet. I'm almost thinking maybe these stairs could change to a different color. Not entirely sure about that, but lots to go still. As I try to figure out what the roof is going to be like, we'll kind of figure out how tall we want to make these farms as well. But it's all still in the works. So we'll see kind of what direction we take as we get there. Okay, so the front of this is really starting to remind me of my season one base. And that's not a bad thing because I really like that base. But this little curve right here, I think that plays in pretty well. These guys need to go, though. Those are not very fitting at all. They pop out way too far. And if we come out in here from the inside and look up, that color is fantastic. We're definitely not going to hide that. I very much do like how that looks there. So a little bit to do still on the front there. And we got to bring this over, of course. And I think if we come to the back here, that we're going to change the color back here. So also we've done the walls up and there's a couple small things around here like that that have changed. I think that changed to a glowstone block as well for some lighting. But small things like that, I don't remember everything I've done. I've spent a lot of time on this so far. But we've got some walls up here. It feels very light and airy in here, which I absolutely love. And like I said, I think we're going to change the color up here. I think we're going to go for a purple roof back here. Because of that, come back here, boom. We've got a whole lot of sheep back here. We have, I think, 80 sheep. There's 60, no, 16 colors, rather, four of each. So that's, what, 16 times four, that's 64 sheep. That sounds about right. So we're going to have a lot of sheep here, and we're going to dump those all into a sheep farm. So we've got every color 
to choose from when we're build making builds around here we can add all the colors if we want to and then those are all going to be in a farm right here the storage is going to be down here i've already left up an opening in the wall for that that's part of why i didn't do the roof so far as well is because i don't quite know how we're going to bind these two together yet and in my time away i spent a lot of time in the end city about an hour and that's the wrong one we got two rows of shulker boxes here another full chest double chest rather worth of shulker boxes we've got a lot of storage so we're going to color up some of those we've got one for each color and then that's all going to go down here it's going to be pretty beautiful so i'm going to go select a farm design i already have one in mind but i want to make sure it's the right one and then we're going to go ahead and get this started this could be a pain working with animals is never the easiest thing to do so this looks pretty cool we've got all the colored wools here with the colored shulker boxes for our storage units and we've already got some wool in there because we've been shearing the sheep up in the other area and we've got the beginning apparatus of the farm in. So this is Azumavoid's design. The link will be down below in the description. It's absolutely fantastic. It's fully automatic too, which is super, super neat. I am caught in here now. And if we go ahead on up here, you'll see that we have this little canal. And sheep are going to bounce around in here. We're going to add some water as well over some parts of it. And then the rest are just going to, the sheep are just going to push each other along. And then these dispensers here are going to have shears in them. And now you can shear sheep just by having the dispenser shoot out at them. So pretty awesome. Then it's just going to collect all in here, run down here, and then we just got to link this up to the beginning of the sorter down there, and it's all going to be fully automatic. Really, really happy with that, and all the color over there looks pretty neat. I did just shear them, so some of them are still bare, but this is going to be pretty awesome. I do have to figure out how to get them up here. It's going to be a little bit harder than if they were above, and I could just drop them down, but we'll make it work. You know, we got to cover this in glass as well to keep them all in here. And we have all this extra grass down here because this is how grass can travel. So I guess this is potentially the most optimal way to spread grass from one block to another. So it's like five blocks probably per grass block on top are contributing to the grass. So it constantly regrows, which gives our sheep the most opportunity to regrow their wool. So I got the farm into place and I decided to do some AFKing. And what better to do than while waiting to AFK it there to also do some fishing. So I went ahead and did all of that now let's try to get all this back into the right spot here three four five six seven there we go and then we're going to need all of this as well and we can go ahead and put that back up there because wings and flying is much more fun okay let's go ahead out and see what we did i gotta find some way to secure that as well and holy cow that is a whole lot of those guys wow okay as long as they're none of the bosses that carry the the banners we actually should be safe from yikes okay you know what i said about that thing that's gonna go back on there okay this is a little bit more than i thought it was gonna be can i get a head maybe it'd be nice to get a head and go ahead and stick that on an armor stand luckily we got pretty good armor there was one head i saw one head fall don't shoot the horse there, there we go and one and last one there we go okay so we got one head too many crossbows we do not need crossbows is there any more? There's a couple guys back here. That was insane. Okay, that guy and that. Can I not reach you? Really? Really? You're going to do this? All right, we're back here. I don't know how it spawned inside of the tree. And, uh-oh. That one had the banner. Oh, this is going to be... Okay, stay away from that village. I do want the banner, though. Stay away from the village. Stay away from the village. I don't want to start a raid. Oh, I need to go find a cow now, don't I? All right, so now that that is all taken care of, that was annoying to try to find a cow. Apparently, those aren't too abundant around here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our loot. Which side do we want to start with? The fish? Sure, why not? Because that's actually why I did this. I needed more food. Why is it all salmon? What's going on down here? Do we not have enough of the bamboo in there? Do we got enough bamboo? Whoa, we got a lot of bamboo. Okay. Apparently, there just wasn't a whole lot of cod. That's interesting. I wonder if something went wrong with the sorter or what's going on here. Um, that's still salmon. That's filled up with cod. That's not supposed to work like that. What's going on here? What? Why is this broken? What did I do wrong here? Um, I'm going to have to look at that because that's very, very interesting. I don't really know what's going on with that. I'll have to figure that out separately. Now we're down here. Let's go ahead and look at the loot, however. Okay, so this was all here before. Whole bunch of stuff here. Anything notable? That's not really that great. There's another book. Quick charge? Well, we don't have a crossbow. That's not too great. Also not so great. Maybe our fishing rod kind of sucks. Um, 
yeah, those are some pretty bad books. Uh, although, what's back here? Do we have anything? There's one. Still not that great. Nope. 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 Nope, nope. I'm sensing a theme here. Okay, Riptide 3. There's Mending. All right. There's Mending. We don't really use that on our bow, but, you know, it's not terrible. Oh, did we check that one? There's nothing really back there. And then, okay, Smite 3. Not that great. And no. And no. Sharpness 4 is decent. Okay, then. That was totally not worth it because we really did not get that many good books. And I got to figure out what the heck is going on over there. Yep, I made it dumb. As soon as I stopped recording, I realized what went wrong here. These two are both going to be locked whenever there's items in there, which means they can't actually shoot anything off to the side. So, oof, that's filled. Some reason, so yeah, that worked because there was nothing to the right being locked, but this one is not going to work because that one is locked. So it only let one cod through, I think, whenever there was a salmon going through it, which means that we just have to drop these hoppers down by one, potentially. Is that how that works? Maybe not. Maybe they need to go back that way and then off to the side. I think that's how we have to do this. Shoot it back one, otherwise they're going to be against the torch there. So I'll take care of that later, but we also had the sheep farm going, and I'll go ahead and put a picture on the screen of how I got the sheep over into the pen. And that actually didn't take as long as expected. So if we hop on up here, you can see them all up here. There's 64 sheep up here. Could probably add some more because there are some gaps, but they do float around so this one will start to push and then there we go we got some walking they're all going to get over here and they're going to go around very very slowly you saw one get sheared over there so they're getting sheared twice per round and let's see what happens here we had about a stack of white before that's not promising at all this is this is not good we need to, okay we're going to need more sheep in there apparently because that is an extremely slow rate this is all from before and then same thing with the purple on the end. Yeah, we had a ton of that to start with. So that's actually only about half a stack of each over a lot of time. 12 hours? Yeah, that's not right. Do we still have shears? We haven't burnt through a single pair of shears even. So that tells me that there's not been a whole lot that went through. In fact, we can figure that out here. So there's like seven... 10 yeah um that's not a lot that's not a lot at all so we're gonna have to breed more sheep the more sheep they are the faster they're gonna start moving around that's apparently a necessity well i'm not gonna bother to keep all the colors even we're just gonna come up here with some wheat and breed away so i don't know what i was on about when i said to drop the hoppers down one because those torches right there are still gonna lock them we just had to bring it back one and then keep it at the same height so those are all flowing in now starting to fill up that furnace and that does of course mean that it overflowed before and we had a bunch of cod in these chests which i didn't really notice so there was none in the bottom chest was there any in the hopper behind it? No. So once it filled would be when it started to overflow. So it looks like this one is the first one to have something like that in it. None there. And then up here, yep, there's that, that, and then I think all the cod was still, or all the salad rather, was still getting sorted out. So all of this stuff still needs to go back through here. And if we just go ahead and I think if we just dump them in this line back here, that one's mostly empty. I think we can just put them against that. Like that, there we go, it's all picked up and it'll go in there and smelt right up. So I started breeding and I forgot to account for babies being able to get out. Oh no, don't go off the side. Go back in there, we're gonna have to block these guys off and I need to do that with glass because if we do it with whole blocks, that's gonna break the grass. Did it just climb back in? I think that's it. So we can just do this and as we start to breed up some more, I'm just gonna break the glass, breed it up and then put the glass back. There's a couple of babies, oh, that grew. So this, I think, is just going to be a pretty effective method of doing that. Hopefully I'm correct and that the glass does not prevent the grass from uh, growing underneath it. We don't want that. So we're just going to line this all with that. Hopefully that keeps everything in. And then the breeding is going to go on between episodes because that's going to take a little while longer. And I'm just going to keep breeding them until it looks full. So I have no idea what number that's going to be. Maybe we can figure that out with the entity count at the end. But it's probably going to be somewhere between 80 and 100 is my best guess. And I think this is our last line here. We might have made a little bit too much glass there. Did not count at all. Uh, nope, right here. Is that good? Is that looking pretty good? So we're also going to need a way, obviously, to get up here and refill the shears. Because although that test was a bit of a bust and we didn't really use any shears at all, we eventually will run out and we're going to have to come up here and bring more. So it is still, I mean, that's a lot. You're talking what... One shear says how many uses? Like 300. Yeah, 238 uses. And there's a lot in here. Like this is a full double chest plus two hoppers plus two dispensers. So that's 18 plus 10 plus 54. That's like 82, I think. So that's a lot. 82 times 238 uses. 
we're going to get a lot out of this, but just in case, we'll still have a ladder to come up once we finish this room around here, but that will be in the future, because for now, hopefully y'all have enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe for more, and I'll see y'all next time.